Hello everyone, my name is Robat and today we're going to do a tutorial on jungle in season 10. We're going to talk about how I played Leah in jungle in season 10. And now we're going to defend a bit before we start. Okay, good. So, let's start with the beginning. I'm going to show you my runes, Electrocute, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, and for secondary water walking and transcendence. Now, there are a lot of variation of this. You can go Nimbus Cloak, I think that's the best one currently, but I'm experimenting right now, so instead of transcendence you can go for Nimbus Cloak to get on every smite some movement speed. Water walking is kind of good, best in slot maybe in this scenario. And you're going for attack speed ability power magic resist here, I'm going for magic resist since there are only AP in their team, but in general you can go for armor. Electrocute can be replaced with face rush, chip shot is best in slot, eyeball collection can be can be replaced with uh, Zombie Ward and Ravenous Hunter can be replaced with Relentless Hunter for movement speed. It's all about it's all about playstyle, guys. Remember that. So if you find success with one build, I recommend you to actually stick to it because usually all runes have a learning curve. So being used to Nimbus Cloak might be different. And kiting here is bad for me because of uh, because of the yellow bar. I'm afraid to not lose it. And now we're moving up to the second camp, we're moving up to the golems, usually I like to play with uh, the E because I like to kite the big one on the slow, uh, because I believe you can kite them faster this way than the W and also you can deal a bit more damage, but some people prefer to play with W at uh, second level so that you can choose between them, uh, whichever makes you happier, it's, there is no better one, I mean the W works better if you get invaded, that's a hundred percent yes from me because obviously you will survive but in rest it's not that big of a deal and now we're going for the third camp we're going for the rights we want on the rights to actually uh, damage a bit to the little ones but we want to position ourselves to do a full queue on the big one so we're going to move behind him and we're going to do a full queue like this and now the small ones we're going to keep dying uh, because of the passive so we're going to do it like this and that's the last one and now we can kite blue buff because we still have red buff and we can play around that on items I'd like to go for the jungle item uh, that's uh, the obvious the AP one and then I'd be interested in going for maybe orb maybe zonias depending on needs sork shoes are a must in this case maybe merc threads but in general, uh, you'd like to go for these items or to have a variation of these items. Sometimes you can go for Rabadons because of the scaling. Sometimes you can go for something else. And now I want to word because their Eloy might be following. And I expect actually for her to show up. I did not see Chogat there. So I'm not going to uh, smite it. So we're just going to do this. I'm not going to gank of casting because that actually it's actually a very bad scenario. Cassidy gets ganks after 6. He just has to play defensive. He's just going to get killed maybe if you gank and their uh, jungler counter ganks. So that so we talked about items, we talked about runes. I want to talk about vision a little. Uh, now we can see that our uh, camp is spawning here, but we want to go for a bottling gank after that if you can but I want to talk a bit about vision so on the first recall I want you to get the red trinket and you I want you to use it in places like uh, this bush here and maybe other spots but normally this is what you should do uh, and also get a vision word if you have the gold because it will help your team tremendously uh, especially if you have a top laner that might be ganked easily especially if you have the need of vision which is always there is always a need for vision so you can go for these things now I see Chogat moving towards I'm seeing Chogat moving towards so I'm actually rushing there as fast as I can because I'm a bit afraid that okay never mind yeah okay never mind I'm I'm apparently useless for this bottling they're actually destroying them so I mean Zyra will see me now but I don't care. Okay, never mind. Why did you ping? So he got that. So we can go right now and we can do another um, clear for gold. Your main goal is to get the AP jungler item. That's 
a best in slot, you, your main goal should be to use these. Sometimes your main goal should be to focus on drakes, but more importantly is to actually survive. Because if the enemy jungler kills you, then you're not going to go very far. And getting the red trinket is actually... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Getting the red trinket is actually part of your survival, because if you clear words, they have no idea where you are. So you can use it defensively, you can use it offensively, you can do it in more ways than you can ever imagine. And now we're going to talk about vision. As I said, I sorry I skipped it so much. Basically, when you first recall, you'd want to get uh, a vision ward if you can, and you'd want to go for uh, this little item because this enables you to actually survive. You don't really have to do much ganks if your team does fine because you want to get your AP item, and they are dying now because it's a four-man gank. And even if I was there, I wouldn't save much. And we're doing actually the golems on cooldown. We see that they are spawning again. And we're, want, we're going to want to actually get them. We don't really have any possibility of stealing that drake. Maybe if I flash, maybe if I didn't smite there. But do we really want to risk it? I mean, you could. You definitely could. But if you fail the smite, you just lose on everything else. We don't even have words, Jesus. I'm just gonna... I was close maybe, but probably he smited. Now most most probably you shouldn't risk flashing if you have smite up. Uh, my thing got caught there and as I'm against Shogat, it's, well he's not 6 yet but it's pretty hard in general to steal from him as he has a lot of burst but then again that Drake will not win them the game but did, it did make them more powerful so you gotta remember that. So we got the gang bot now, we gotta be more careful on that Shogat so we, we that's our play point that's where we have to do stuff and we're going to get this red and then we're going to try to maybe after blue buff start something on bot lane i'm going to use a small q there because i still don't have mana and only now i do and i'm going to do a full q there and i did not kill him okay and do we have we don't have the resources for rights or maybe we do okay only if we're using the Q properly, but we, I did not use the Q properly, so now I have to back off. I'm just gonna kill the small ones first. Okay. Just gonna do it like this. A little bit more time than usual, but we're going to be just fine. This one, the big one, doesn't deal that much damage, so we're going to be safe. And we can recall now again, I'm gonna use this in case they have a word, I'm going to stay with my hand on the flash, in case there is a Zoe. I mean, you can just back off at this point. I mean, you, you see that she's there, so be careful. See how good that vision word actually was, that's my vision word right here. Oh, never mind, that's not my vision word. <laughs> okay, I forgot to put it. Uh, usually you have to put this vision word in this bush, in this bush, or this bush. Sometimes when I focus too much on talking, I will forget about casting that vision word down. So, uh, you, gotta, you gotta put it down every time. We see now that Cassidy didn't put one there too. And we see now that Riven actually won the trade on top lane. Now, Talia jungle, it's not about early ganks because you're pretty weak in the early game. But now, we can actually do something here. We can actually go around here, maybe get a kill on that. Come on, come on, come on. See how simple that was. You just got to have the proper map control, proper vision. You got there an aggressive vision where I'm going bot now. Because we want to check a bit. Okay, check out this top. Okay, okay, push, we push this. We push this one. Come on, come on, come on. Push this up. There is absolutely no reason not to push this. Maybe we get a plate. Maybe we get something there. We gotta get this first plate. And there is really no follow up. They, they can't really do much. So we got the replate, and now, and now we can actually do something more tricky. We can actually back off, pretend that we left, do a slight turnaround, check for a word there, and stay here. We 
can wait here. I can actually wait here because they probably got no idea that I did not recall. So I'm just going to do a full W on someone. Don't know yet on whom. But they will come. They do not have words here. Okay, I failed. <laughs> I failed that one. Amazingly. Okay. I'm not getting killed though. I tried to force something here. It was it went badly, but now we have to actually move on top lane because they are going to cast the herald there. So that was a waste of time. That was a bad W from me. We do have this item up, so it's great. Now we need to be careful where that spawns, where that uh, Chogat spawns it, uh, and we need to get that trick. Now he, they have usually better clear speed most junglers than you early on, but then again you're going to catch up after. Uh, after that so we expect now to actually uh, do our full clear maybe help top maybe but apparently she's doing quite fine so we can focus on staying around that trick or killing that Zoe but then again that Zoe will recall right now so we got a clear from words okay we might even dive that Zoe if she stays. But I want to check to be sure first that there is no Chogat surprise baroning, no dragonings and stuff like that. And we're going to be deeper here. Okay, now this is a free dive. Okay. So they both used their alts. Can I have it please guys? Okay, so we could maybe we could maybe force here. I smite it because there might have been Chogat there. So we're we're seeing we're seeing her, but we're not really sure how that's going to play out. I do have okay, I see her. I, I need to go now because Chogat is coming. fine okay and twitch lives it's actually great for us I don't have any mana for anything now and if uh, Cassidy followed here we could have get more kills Text to that maybe. Yeah, that went well. That went really well. <laughs> okay, so that's how you basically have to play around. You have to try to get these moments, try to see which lanes are ahead, and if your lanes are not ahead but they do have potential, please do not flash for me. Uh, I, I ganked the casting lane only when I was completely sure I could get something there, so you gotta remember that rule. I mean, I did not play around Cassidy much. I could undo this and get boots. And I did not play around Cassidy much because she's actually useless early on, and we all know that Cassidy is an early game, uh, late game champion. And Riven might be dead now. Oh my god, that's cl clutch. Now I'm going to do a full clear because my clear speeds are pretty good right now with the current itemization. And I could actually pass to Twitch that. And I could focus on Drakes. Now, that decision is up to you. If you like the current kill score uh, and you can force in a Drake, you can actually go for it. But if you cannot, uh, then it's not mandatory to actually go for the buffs. 
if you think you're going to lose it, if you try to do it, then don't do it. It's pointless to do it if you're going to lose it. If you're completely certain that's okay, then you can go for it. And that's for every champion, okay? That's a rule for every champion. Now, I would have gone here, but I really want this blue buff in full clear. And I could actually do a gank top now, because Riven seems to uh, lose that uh, great advantage that he had, she had. And I think it's a free opportunity for me to actually gank if Eloy still stays. Or I could go here. Coming, coming, okay. Can you please leave me alone? You're still dead, buddy. Yeah, we've seen you lower now, it's okay. Now we can actually force a fight on this guy. I think he backed off. Ah, never mind. It's a bit too much effort for that to force it out. But normally you should try to play as I do. So you survive a lot. And if you can, you go for Drakes. Like this is a good opportunity for a Drake. Because Chogat is dead. Pretty much the only follow up they can do is Zyra. And maybe Zoe, but if Zoe comes, Cassidy should come too, and that should turn into a free kill for us. Okay, so we got a Drake there. The next Drake is Mountain. Also, Cloud Drake is pretty good now with the cooldown reduction. It's not the best, obviously, but the cooldown reduction instead of movement speed. It's actually pretty nice. Also, now we see the map change. Now, this could be an entire video on its own on how to play till you have on different map changes. Uh, but then again, I believe the best one would be cloud for the uh, sorry ocean for the best uh, setups. So bushes. I mean, when you see an ocean drake, there are a lot of bushes, and I'm going to help them there. But I don't know if I can do much. I could do this. Okay. So yeah, the main goal is uh, you're lucky. The main goal is to stay in those bushes when there is an ocean drake. I mean, when the map spawns for ocean. Because those bushes give you a lot of potential to actually actually sneak W's out. And this is not really helpful. Cassidy is fine though. You can just hold out, I mean. And when you're against a Chogat like this, maybe Lyandries would work better than our uh, than our casual itemization. And also, um, even Morelos, both of them work because Morelos will negate heals from the champions, such as Ilaoi, such as uh, Swain, such as Chogat. And yeah. How do I miss it? I mean, he's like two feet tall. A two-tone monster. Just gonna gun it down. Don't care. Just gonna gun it. Oh my god, that was my kill. And somehow, Cassidy died to Zyra. And we still have time to get this buff. Can I get some help? I mean. I'm just gonna solo it. There are no words. But if someone comes in, I'm pretty much guaranteed they have to flash. Jesus, I deal so no damage when I'm on all this movement work grounds. Come on. There you go, flat gold. And I don't remember, even remember where Chogat used his. But we're at the point where we can recall. No, I'm not going to use it for that tower. We can get more with it. And as I said, we now want either Lyandris for that Chogat or this item, which is actually best in slot against them because 
you're going to need the health reduction always look for the health reduction guys this is a very important tip and nice that was a nice play there I mean Cassidy is at the point where he's going to solo carry it probably and we're going to see a big big jump there I hope I don't misuse this what are you doing are you solo is she soloing that Senna is OP she has 10 kills okay I understand where are our kills now yeah we won the game here and the cast time speed on this yeah it's over I'd never seen a support deal so much damage in such a little time come on jump on him and if you're careful can actually go for her that's a bad ult though okay back good back oh, so this went well so and having this score is actually in your favor every time even though even though you might not have uh, the most farm or the most kills not dying is actually going to set you up in levels as you can see here I'm ahead in level simply because Choga died too much and even though he farmed my team actually did a bit better overall and some strategic ganks on mid lane such as that Cassidy when he was 0-0 uh, or something uh, actually helped so we waited we went for the opportunity and everything went well after that and normally you could do probably better routes than I do in terms of farming I just uh, sometimes focus too much on the fighting part I'm coming but we cannot steal this I mean he has ult he has everything I'm gonna try I, I tried okay and I have some low MS now some FPS what is this frames oh my god with the new map my frame rate is a bit low so as you can see here it moves in frames for some reason but we're still winning I'm seeing that she missed an entire stuff there and Riven is ending the game on mid lane so yeah we're just gonna keep Chogat here And now probably Riven will end the game. Not sure if she still has the <laughs> damage, but it's probably pretty close coming too. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're not gonna end the game here, are we? want to keep this perfect score going on even though it kind of says that I'm a KDA player it's just beautiful to actually give shut it's beautiful to not give them shutdown and I'm going to do some deeper words here and when you do have advantage it's always in your best interest to actually clear as much as you can of their jungler even though if that means that you're not going to get everything every time as I'm here, okay, I might be dead now because there is a hundred miles an hour Chogat going after me. Okay, bye. I'm out. Sweet movement speed. Eee, not gonna die. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. And you're gonna die now because I have my friend here. Uh, Please don't have flash, please don't have flash, please don't have flash. Okay, I'm out. This time I'm out. 
so yeah, you can see you can see the level difference now, <laughs> and also a lot of gold. So itemization. Sometimes I also see Banshee's Veil. By the way, it's a very good item to actually pick in situations like this. And then going for it since they all have magic resist, that would also be a good item if you don't have a tank. And we do have a tank, so someone to deny them some AP damage, such as uh, Zoe's Qs and things like that, uh, could be useful. I say that those could be useful because it's probably better than uh, going for Lyandris. And I think Morelos is non negotiable, as in they have so much heals that. Please stop painting. Uh, and this game goes for way longer than needed though. Come on. Where is the help? Should have jumped the moment they were there. I also missed again. I spell. Alright, a bit afraid to go in this zone. Just a bit afraid. Ah, okay. What? Just gonna Q. Whenever, whenever in doubt, just use Q. And as a final build that you could go for, it would be... In this context, it's, it must include Banshee's Veil and probably Lyandris and even... Uh, and even Morelos, those are best in slot because of their uh, functionalities, I might say, because Landris is good versus that Cho'Gath. Uh, Morelos is good versus Cho'Gath, Swain, and Eloy. And then uh, Banshee's Veil is good against all of them. So you can you can go based on what they have. If they have full AD, a full AD comb, then obviously you should focus on getting that Zonia down or Tabis. But normally Sork Shoes, it's, it's Sork Shoes is a must pick. And I don't even need to say how important that uh, flat magic pen is in any context. So we're going to... I hope they don't have a word because Chogat can steal it. Okay. But if he had and flashed, then we'd have definitely lost. Ooh. Maybe I went too far. Don't know what was that. Can't speak about much. Okay. Okay. And we kind of played it perfectly. Yeah, that was beautiful. And now we can just end. That was a beautiful team fight from all angles, by the way. Yeah, they surrendered. That 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 went so well for us. I dodged so many things that it went well overall. So this is the complete uh, jungles for season 10 guide. I mean, because the map shapes in so many ways, in so many ways, it's very hard to actually create guides that are consistent because there are four kind of maps now. I mean, new bushes on ocean, a very different infernal, a very different mountain map, and even the cloud speed. And you gotta be a bit careful on the new things because there are a lot of new things and I believe that the worst map for you is the infernal one not only because of the ugly red-ish template that it goes over but also because blue buff and red buff now have wider areas so that kinda does not help us but maybe the ocean drake help us most and I believe the mountain drake is good as well because Talia lacks those magic resist and armor stats that we get from mountain and the changes I believe it's, it's the changes are beautiful because we lack those kind of survivability options so all in all I believe you understood how I play how I kite anyway the kite has to you, you, you can work on that kiting you can go in the practice tool and do kiting for days you can go in practice tool and practice that WQ combo you can go in the practice tool and practice CS you can do anything there so you can kite first there 
to actually get good clear speeds that would improve you obviously if you main jungle that would massively improve you you can try to find a way to get always those uh, golems down because those have the most experience and usually uh, you need to get them. I don't know if this season those have the most experience. I haven't checked if they changed the experience but lately I know that people usually go for it so I believe it's a good option. Please correct me if I'm wrong and uh, then you should try to play defensive early on especially against most champions such as Rengars, such as Kha'Zix, such as Xin and champions that can kill you against other champions that are tankier or that are late game oriented yeah you can fight you can even gank more than them but in general you should find those champions those lanes that actually help you win your ways i mean if you have a mid cassidy you should focus more on top lane or on bot lane whichever uh whichever lane has the better champion lane wise i mean the most priority you have to focus on that you should also go for the vision red trinket and you should play around that too I believe uh, itemization we discussed that in depth runes i believe we talked that in depth the offer nimbus cloak try play a bit with it maybe go try phase rush in some games see how that works against some melee champions and i don't know practice make it perfect try to focus on that so see you next time guys and i really hope you enjoyed this video goodbye